Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I greet you all according to your time. You'll be watching this video. So guys, I have a video here I would like we all to watch. But before then, if you're meeting my channel for the very first time, you're highly welcome. Please do well to like, share and subscribe. Leave your thoughts about this video and let us know what you think about this video. So guys, let's watch the video together and see you towards the end. Oh God, they know they interview Kenneth. You know they interview lawyer for this point with this so It's very bad. Kenneth, take a easy. You don't find any disso everywhere. When about the interview lawyer, even when Tinubu open match talk say he knows in Nigeria no vote for him, but he win. When I want the video film. I know many did not vote for me, and you are disappointed that your candidate is not where. I stand now. We are fine now. Watch how Kenneth not take this show every day. And make sure so say you share this video as obedient. Share them so that the world will see the work. The abomination where the way are coming for this country. Avoc. Very much indeed for coming in. Thank you very much and thank you viewers at home for joining us. I think many people, including international observers, agree that there was some evidence of things like vote buying, violence, and some people being disenfranchised by the failure of the technology and by a measure of intimidation. But the question is, how widespread was it? It is as widespread as the observers who made the comment respectfully i want to tell you that all of them not some the eu the air calls the au the cso's both in nigeria and internationally they came to one conclusion according to thambo mbeki say i neck destroyed the trust of nigerian people in the process in a democracy the process is more important than the result and the process of conducting an election is very clear i participated in this election you go to the polling vote you are credited by the beavers you go vote at the conclusion of the matter the vote is counted the vote is announced publicly the vote is transferred through electronic transfer to the server two level of authentication through transfer the first is uploading to the IREF portal which is snapping the hard copy of the manual result and uploading it which INEC was doing even before the authorization of electronic transmission INEC yearned and told Nigerian people and Nigerian people fought to grant them electronic transmission of results. The only reason for the amendment of 2022 Electoral Act is electronic transmission of results. To remove the mischief of the manual collation centers where Nigerians have unanimously agreed is the albatross for free and fair election in Mahmoud's INEC. In 2023 presidential election, Mahmoud bypassed the process of transferring electronically the result of the presidential election intentionally and willfully in order to manipulate the election to pronounce Bola Tinubu the president elect. Why did I use the word willfully and intentionally? Anybody telling you there was a glitch in Beavers is the first liar of this election. There were three elections conducted on the same day. No Beavers. I repeat, no Beavers malfunctioned. We were accredited by Beavers. He did not malfunction. We were counted, announced. They transmitted the result of the senatorial election. Beavers was beautiful. They did it with the House of Representatives. Beavers was on top of the game. Then in the presidential election, they are telling their own fools, not us. 
that diva suddenly started malfunctioning no he did not malfunction there was a deliberate attempt to make sure that the presidential election is not transmitted so that they will resort illegally and criminally by the law section 60 subsection 4 of the electoral act made it clear count and announce the result in the polling unit transmit and transfer in the polling unit subsection 5 so the polling unit independence in the conduct of our election is sacrosanct and anything beyond that is not only illegal but criminal subsection 6 very clear anybody that contravenes this procedure has become a criminal and should be sentenced to jail he will either pay a fine of 500,000 naira or go to jail for at least six months so all the INEC officials that committed crime in front of Nigerian people are now by law criminals and again well they haven't been found guilty yet. no so by, by a court find, of law well, the finding of guilty is to punish I give you an example in law if somebody has a land and you know your own land somebody is building on it and you don't scream and you keep quiet to finish when he finishes that land belongs to him so when somebody is stealing from you even in the local palace you have to shout thief thief so that people will help you to apprehend them in the local palace you have to shout ole ole if you don't do it you may just be found guilty of contributory negligence so the issue here is not that day the court is for them to be punished the first act in criminal proceeding is complaint okay. yeah but, but the act but has to now, the court has to find the them act guilty has not before finished. it punishes the act has not finished yeah in 64 subsection 4 the act say you cannot collate shall you cannot collate or announce result until you confirm and verify the results with the result already transmitted and transferred recorded in the beavers the accredited voters and in number of votes in the beavers section 64 subsection 4 subsection 5 and in subsection 6 you say if there is a dispute in other words somebody says look at what i have is different from what is in the divas he said you would have to stop compare with the results in the beavers and if there is contradiction the one in the beavers prevails i know chairman is the chief returning officer in the issue of presidency there was no beavers at all throughout and he went on to collect and announce making it a criminal offense again according to subsection okay. 64. all right you've laid out the, the law and you understand the process but some will even say going by your you know analogy of shouting thief 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 yes you could incite people yes, to do jungle justice English. you say ole ole yes oh oh okay you could incite people to jungle justice if you do that some may say that and that's what the government party is saying that there is a proper channel, which is the court. Yeah. You, you seem to have all the evidence. You understand the law and what has been done here. Why are you so afraid of going to the courts? Because that's what the governing party is saying, that you're afraid to yeah. go to the courts. Well, in Why? fairness, actually, the Labour Party has come out today to say that they are going to. So, Miles, a legal yeah, challenge. They're, they're so going to, although they haven't, haven't. but they said they're going yes. to. Right. Before you talk about healing, when there is a disease, you have to analyze the pathology. The pathology of this case is that there was a rigging. If there was no reasonable suspicion that there was no election at all, as a matter of fact, in the eyes of the law, there was no election at all. As long as there's no transmission from the polling unit. And look at, I know, you know, this country, the level of impunity is really very insulting. You know what they're telling us? They will soon finish uploading the results. And they have <laughs> after the fact. Forty thousand. As of one hundred and seventy-six thousand yeah. plus. But after announcing, after collating and announcing, which is a criminal offense, as a matter of fact, they are admitting to Nigerian people to the crime. Now, what are we saying? What I'm telling you is that if you don't cry 
thief, thief, thief. Mm. Then what are you going to court to do? And I told you that the first act in criminal procedure is complaint. But you, you did have. Then who am I incited? Okay, but let me let me mm. ask you. Are they Sonia? Are they so? Are they so? So, if somebody wants to steal your goods mm -hmm. in your house. You say no, allow him to steal it. First, I don't have a gut. But Mr. Kim, no, I'm just saying, you don't what do you do? So what do you do? Okay, but you shout, Nigeria. Thief, thief, thief. <laughs> for people to come and help you. Great, great. Okay, secure so secure your goods. Let's go back to the pulling unit because we've been hearing from all sides, you know, in this matter. Yes. At every polling unit, as you have stated, you know, there's a, there's a, there are levels to the process. At the polling unit. You had agents. Yes. They signed on to these results. They watched them being uploaded, or maybe not. At the world level, they did the same. It got to the state and got to the national, and then we hear opposition raising the alarm. What happened at those levels? The polling units to the state level. What happened there? Good. If you are following my Twitter, I raised alarm on the Saturday by midnight. I went there. And I'm a leader of my people where we annihilated APC and PDP in Enugu State. In my polling unit, we have about 1,000 persons. And we got about 900 and something votes. What I am saying is that almost by midnight, because I instructed the polling unit agents that they must remain there. That if the result is not transmitted from there, it's of no effect. They remained, 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 and then reported to me, sir. The Senate is going, the House of Rep is going, the presidential is not going. I don't need any other person to tell me. That's a willful manipulation of beavers. Because when you have three elections, one cannot go, two go, mm. and the third one did not go. Yeah, that certainly so I raised alarm. raises questions. Good. And I even raised alarm before the election. On Professor Mahmoud in on channels television Thursday I said he's a suspect and I have my doubts because if a wreck openly told you that certain tribe that they are migrants in Lagos and you saw evident that all the PVCs that we are not shared we are sharing the same name and a wreck is defending it if you are the chief returning officer you don't remove that wreck then with profound respect your complicit mm. and we saw what happened i said it that lagos election is going to come this way we led in lagos election by more than 900 and something thousand votes don't take my words for it take the words of a pdp person in lagos that labor led with this amount by their own agent's record you know what p2b one in the political capital of Nigeria telling you that people that are near the administrative headquarters have acknowledged that he is the best administrator. He won in the commercial nerve center of Lagos telling you that businessmen, elite businessmen and ordinary traders have recognized that he is the best commercially inclined administrator we should have. He won in national chairman of APC's pulling unit he won in the pulling unit of the director general of APC. He won everywhere in Nigeria, north, south, east, west. He's the only person that got 25% of the votes in all the geopolitical zones. Only person. And he, he, nobody had more states than him. Do you want him to kill these people politically before you give him his mandate? Well, let me, let me take you up on that. Um question of Lagos for instance because Lagos obviously is the state with the largest number of registered voters and the largest number of people who collected their PVCs so the expectation was that you would have upwards of at least 5 million voters but they got barely 1.4 million yes um, in your assessment all that youth energy is has been either maliciously yes. or apathetically dissipated good there's no apathetically it was maliciously destroyed the votes and some of them were open 
all the places as a matter of they were warned by the one battle of Ibarra the tape was out there he said we have received directive from the top and Tinubu Bola Tinubu made the directive openly he said it openly to his followers power is not served a la carte you have to fight for it at all costs you have to grab it at all costs you have to snatch it at all costs and you have to run away with it at all costs and this was exactly what happened in Lagos State and the Bale of Ibarra or uh, whatever confessed that they received the directive to do that and they warned any, everybody that if you don't do that you will destroy you it's there in the open and that was what happened in Lagos the one that hurts me is that we men we are not even spared of this you saw this picture of a woman whose eye was nearly blinded i don't know the savages that we have what i do to women i hold them i cherish them i love them and i make l-o-v-e to them <laughs> forgive me but i well, don't understand that rather takes the conversation I in don't a different understand direction that you will get a woman whose only problem is that she came to exercise her franchise that you told her is safe and secured and you brutalized her those people are not human beings they are savages okay would you say what happened in lagos played out across the country uh, because even the international observers which you started your opening speech with they'd say that this election was largely peaceful even though there were some other complaints uh, and you know just to piggyback on Charles's question because I'm looking at the voter turnout numbers 29 percent even for a country that has witnessed low yeah. voter turnout that is that was extremely low. low good 29 percent so would you say what happened in Lagos played out across the country good it is because a lot of manipulations went in in the registration in the first place that gave you a number that is bloated thank god for even beavers what numbers so guys thank you so much for watching how would i see the video wait till i think about this video make it a living at all for the comment section i will see you in my next one from me to you all i say bye for now